Sega. Gentlemen, start your engines. Personally, I do not put a lot of faith in fortune telling, but a person I used to love told me that the number 41 would be my lucky number. Driving games are a very strong genre for our development team. However, there were already so many racing games on the market. I was looking for some good themes for a new game and I just happened to see a NASCAR race while on a business trip. NASCAR was really simple and exciting, so I thought this might be a totally new direction for the market. Arcade driving games are all alike in a sense that they have steering wheels and pedals, but AI is very different for each company. Regarding Daytona USA's AI, some cars are preventing your way, other cars are opening the way for you. Whether players choose beginner or medium level courses, there should always be a variance of the skills. It would be analyzed in one lap so that AI could guide the cars and could open the way for low-skilled drivers or make his or her car less slippery, etc. I would say driving games should be exciting and refreshing. I'd like the players to feel like they're really race car drivers. Sometimes players might feel like kicking the cabinet, but basically I want players to feel better after playing the game. When I was making supercar theme races, I had a chance to drive, but not for NASCAR. But I did have a chance to walk a lap on the circuit so that I could feel how steep the bank was. It was so steep that you literally could not stand on it. My favorite course is the oval course. I believe it was the oval course that made Daytona USA so successful. Technically, it's not oval, but it's triangular in shape and then there are elements like steep shelving, etc. I love this course because it took so much effort to complete. I could see potential as I watched Daytona USA become popular in Sega arcade facilities in Japan, but I couldn't gauge how it was faring worldwide. After I saw Daytona USA in the airport of London 10 or 15 years after the launch, I realized then that Daytona USA had become this huge hit over the course of a decade. I am very thankful and proud to have been the originator of this game, which gives me so much confidence as a creator, even now. And I think that's why I've stayed in this industry for 23 years. I would like to say thank you to all of the Daytona USA fans.